In the last video, we have seen the basic things of IC4017. In this video, we will see how to cascade the IC4017 by cascading three pieces of 4017. In the last video, we have discussed on the spins and the functions. In this diagram, I am not going to show you the power pins and the general outputs. We know pin 14 is clock pin. The first output is pin number 3. The last output is pin number 11. And we also know that pin number 15 is reset pin. And we know the functions of pin 15 very well. As we are going to cascade this 3 IC. This is first one, second, third. And if you want to add more, then you can. Now the cascading cycle is, we have to connect the pin number 3 of first IC to the pin number 15 of second IC. Then pin number 3 of second IC to the pin number 15 of the third IC. And if there is one more IC, then you have to connect pin 3 of this IC to the pin number 15 of the next IC. So this will be our cycle in this direction and then you have to connect pin number 11 of the last IC to the pin number 15 of first IC. So the basic cycle is this. It will be running like this. This is the cycle. Now one more thing we have to do that you should have a common clock signal for each of the IC and it will be your clock pulse. This clock pulse will directly connect it to the pin number 14 of the first IC and to connect the next IC you need a AND gate. So here also the output of the AND gate will be connected to here. One input of the AND gate will be connected to the common clock pulse The first IC it is last output and clock enable pin. It is pin number 13. Last output and clock enable pin. As this pin number 11 is already connected to the reset pin. So we need only pin number 13. And it will be directly connected to the ground. These two are connected together. And it will be our second input to the AND gate. So this is how the cycle will work. And one more thing, the first output of last IC, you cannot use pin number 3 of this IC for second IC also. But you can use pin number 3 of the first IC. So you have 9 output of this. For this you have only 8 output. One output is here pin number 11 and another one is pin number 3. For this also as you cannot use pin number 3 and pin number 11 so here also you have 8 output and I am using AND gate as 4081 and I already uploaded a video on this link in the description below. Now we will see this on the breadboard. Putting all 3 4017 here it is AND gate IC connecting positive and negative of the IC as we are using 4081 and I already explained about this IC we need two AND gate from this it will be pin number 11 pin number 10 it will be 8 9 and 12 and 13 for the cascading cycle 3 to the 15 3 to the 15 and 11 to the 15 This cycle is done. Now we have to connect 11, 13, 11, 13 and this 13 will be connected to the ground. It is connected as here it is pin number 14 of first IC. So we have to provide clock signal direct to this and then we will connect pin number 13 and to the pin number 9. 
of 4081. With this push button, I will provide clock signal and in the last video, I have shown you how to connect this in circuit diagram. Now this capacitor is connected across the switch for debouncing. One pin of the switch is connected to the positive rail and the output side will be connected to pin number 14 of this. And you have to connect a pull down resistor to this pin number 14 and the value is 10 kilo ohms. And the output side of the switch is also connected to pin number 13 and pin number 9. To make it clear you can connect Now this is clear. You can connect here or here. Pin number 12 of 4081 will be connected to 11 and 13 to the first IC, 8 to the second IC and the output of the end gate 11 to second IC of 14 and this pin number 10 to the 14 of third IC. So this is how we have completed the cascading cycle. Now we will connect LEDs to the output. And with the negative pin of the LED we have to connect to 20 ohms. And this thing we have discussed in last video. As we can put maximum of 25 LED, 9 LED to this, 8 to this and 8 to this. Total we have 25 LEDs. So these are all 25 LEDs and with this common negative rail for the LED I am connecting a 220 ohms resistor. Other side of the resistor will be connected to the negative rail. The positive pin of the LED will be connected to the IC. And these are the serial pin numbers from pin number 3 to pin number 9. Now I am connecting all the negative rails and the positive rail. For the first IC we can use pin number 3 and it will go to the first LED and then we will connect up to pin number 9. The next output is pin number 2 and like this we have to connect them all up to pin number 9. For the second IC we cannot use pin number 3 so it will be start from pin number 2 up to pin number 9. For both the IC, second IC and third IC we cannot use pin number 3 and pin number 11 for the output. So like this, this will work. So this is how you can cascade 4017 as many as you want to cascade. So guys, this is all for today. Thanks for watching.